Hey everybody, this is Linda Summers and I hope you're having a fabulous day today. So, I was guided to do this video and um, this video is going to be on how do I know what the truth is. And this was inspired by a friend that I was talking to the other day and I mentioned some things about what's happening in the world and they said, well, how do I even know that's the truth? And so that got me thinking, how would you know that's the truth? And how you would know is when your heart is open. So when your heart is open and expanded, then that's where the truth lies. That's where you are able to feel the truth, not think the truth, but feel the truth. So when we are so dead on like this is my reality this is the way it is this is what I was taught this is what I believe this is da 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 then there is no room for possibility there's no room for expansion because we are so locked in to what we've been taught believe read whatever right because we have been conditioned and programmed for so long to think a certain way to think this is a reality, this is what it is, and there is nothing else. And that is completely untrue. The world is full of possibilities. I mean, when you look out in the world and you look up in the sky, the vast skies, and you look all around and you see beauty and flowers and everything, you think the Creator created all of this for us to experience, to feel, to use the five senses. And so when we are shut off and we're going about our day to day, going to work, doing our thing, coming home, you know, having our dinner, going to bed, getting up, going to work the next day, we, we're just in this routine of things and we never ever think anything outside of what's being revealed to us. And you know what I'm talking about. There's been some truths that are coming up and the tr more truths are going to start to surface. And so it's just like in your life. In your life, you can go about life and all of a sudden one day you have this thought and you're thinking, where in the heck did that thought come from? Like I haven't thought about that forever. Because it's time. It's time to look at that, whatever it is, and face it head on. What is this? And what is the truth around this? Maybe it was... A job maybe it was a relationship maybe it was an experience that you had and you look back and you know you have buried that because you thought you were over it you didn't want to look at it all this other stuff now it is coming to the surface to be looked at and just to recognize it for what it really is it's an experience it's to show us something, to get us through life, to get us to the next level, to the next evolution of our species, right? The same thing as this. Someone and a lot of people started to dig way deep down into the earth where they found that this thing or things were so deep-seated and so far and so widespread that it's taken a long time to dig this up. Look at it like an archaeologist. An archaeologist has to dig and dig and dig and dig and dig and dig and dig, right? And he digs so far in the ground and then he finds an object. And he's like, wow, like this is incredible. This is like thousands of years old. What does he do? He researches it, right? Because he doesn't, he has an idea, oh, maybe it's Egyptian, maybe it's from Greece, who knows, right? Who knows? So he researches and he finds out about how this all, ha what this is, when it began, when it, same thing. All the truths that are surfacing, it's to do the research. Do your research. But you can't find anything if your heart's closed. Your heart has to be open. It has to be expanded. So once you open up your heart, how do we do that? How you know it's about feeling. Feeling is the key word. Love. It's being able to feel, right? It's like looking and seeing a new baby being born or going in the hospital after you've had a, a baby and you're like, wow, 
this is so incredible. There's so much love there. And this little life that we brought and created in this world, when you go out to see the sunset and the sunrise, you think that it rises every morning, whether it's sunny or cloudy, it's still rising and it's still setting. The magnificence of that, and as I mentioned earlier, the magnificence of Creator creating this magnificent world with all the beauty inside. Yes, there's things that are happening that are, you know, traumatic and 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 horrible to see. But there's so much beauty if we can only look at it, recognize what's happening, but don't get caught up in it. Don't get sucked in to all the negativity. Recognize it for what it is, right? It's truth. It's the it's like the dark night of the soul that's being revealed, that's be that's coming up for us. These things that are surfacing, we're like, where the heck did this come from? It's all the stuff that is coming up to be looked at, to be researched, to go. I wonder where that came from. Like, how did this even begin? Like, is this my truth? And you don't have to stay there and dive into it, but recognize it. Wow, this is coming up to be looked at. Same thing with all these truths. It's it's time, you guys. It is so timely. Divine intervention, divine time. We've waited forever for this moment in time. We are going to be the only species that has gone through this and risen from it, ascended from it, because everybody else didn't. All the races before us didn't. We are the one that's gonna do it. But it's gonna take each and every one of us to open our hearts to love, to open our hearts to see the beauty, to see one another as who we really are. Not that we're a race, a color, whatever, a religion. It has nothing to do with that, nothing. But it's to do your research, just like the archaeologist, when he found an object or something he found. He did his research to see where it came from, how it was, how long it's been there, everything about it. That's what we need to do. Let's do our research. Find out what this truth is. Open up your heart first. Only way you can do it is open your heart. If you're coming from your head, forget it. Because your head's only taught what you've been taught, learned, read, programmed, conditioned. It's the mind. It's there for good reason. But the heart is the truth, the way, the light. The heart will never lead us astray. It is the truth. And it is where we feel. We don't feel from the head. We don't resonate, doesn't resonate from us from the head. It's like this resonates with me. We're, it's here. It's not up here. So that's my message for today. That is how you know it's the truth. You have to feel. And you can relate it to everything in your life. I'm sure there's things that are coming up in your life that you're having to look at that you thought were gone. Maybe it's a health issue. Maybe it's a relationship issue. Maybe it's a job issue. Maybe it's something else. It could be anything. But look to see, like the archaeologists dig, right? Dig in there. And if it's already surfaced, look at it for what it is. And realize, what can I learn from this? How, how is this showing me? What is this teaching me? That I can evolve to the next step. That I can grow and remember who I am because we are co-creators. We can create anything in this world. Jesus said, you will do greater things than I. We are made in the image of God. We can do anything. We have this creator ability. What are we doing? We're creating all the time. It's how things got created. The car, the phone, this dress. You know, my glasses, everything is from a thought. It's from a creation. We created that. So that's how you know it's the truth. Open your heart. Open your heart so wide. And let it expand out into the whole universe. And watch how your life changes. You will evolve and change yourself. As you open your heart more and you open to possibility. So that's my message for today. Thank you for tuning in. I hope you're having a fabulous day. 
and I love you and I'll see you next time. Mwah.